Hey guys, so welcome back to another vlog. This one, it's a little different because let's just say last night I was talking to Tim after we got done watching our scary movie for the night and I told him how I've been feeling. Like, nesting has kind of started, I guess you could say. And all I want to do is get baby's room put together, but we don't have a room right now. So, if you guys watched previous other, like, other previous vlogs where I've been back here, you guys will see this used to be just, like, the insulation, like, right there at the door, right there. This used to be just, like, all that. Uh, we put up paneling last night, and we're getting it ready. We have... That window open, we have this door left open with five of the sunroom windows open to kind of ventilate it out. Um, really, the only other thing we have left that we need to cover is right there. We need to fix this wall. And then it'll pretty much be good. I want to get, like, throw rugs or something to throw down back here because I don't like this floor. It feels weird. Uh, so, yeah, we will probably be moving into that room soon, because honestly, he's the best. Like, I wouldn't have been able to do this myself, and he's just really sweet. He was back here working on it this morning before he had to go help Alan, and then he'll probably come home and work on it some more. Uh, we were back here until about 5 o'clock this morning working on it because that's really the only time he can get it, like, work on it. So, sorry about it being dark. Uh, um, yeah, I've got a chicken pot pie in the microwave. It's the banquet brand. Yeah, the banquet brand chicken pot pie. Um, it is currently 3.30. It's a very gloomy day. Like, it's all rainy and everything. So, I'm gonna go <clears throat> out here. Yeah, it's a really crappy day. Like, you guys can see our porch is all wet. There's water laying on our patio thing. Our car's all wet. It's just a rainy day. But... Look, we got pumpkins. So, this one's going to be Tim's, and this one's going to be mine since his is bigger. Um, they were $5.99 each, which, to me, shut up, microwave. Mm -hmm. But to me, that's not, that's not bad. Our magic mesh is ripped. Yeah, and I just caught onto my wreath, but... Yeah, to me, $5.99 isn't that bad because the light's going on. It looks so ugly. Um, when we do the gender reveal to my dad or whatever, or mainly to Facebook, uh, we needed <clears throat> two pumpkins. So, yeah, and anywhere else around here, like up at Walmart, they're like six bucks for ones that are like. A third of that size so this is my little baby pumpkin it was literally only 75 cents like what um so yeah I got that one and I do have this one I was going to use but I don't like it because it's got like these like wart looking things all over it so I figured that's not really good for like a gender reveal type thing so that one, the one with the warts was like $3. Like what? This one here was 75 cents. Yes, please. Um, these, I actually got these from Dollar Tree. I didn't do a haul because it was just this and a pack of gum. So there's your haul. But it's the zipper seal storage bags. They're pretty crappy quality. You get 18 in a box. But I got them for... My newest project, and I'm so excited. I will show you guys when I get into the bedroom. But then we also got these. 
It says baby loading area. Please leave enough room. And they're like stickers that you stick on the outside of your car. And we did get two of them, but we only paid 90 cents for them. Like, what? To me, that is just crazy because, like, you go to Walmart or something, just for one with a suction cup is $2, $3, something like that. Um, so, we got those, and we got them off a of Snag Shout, if you guys were wondering. <clears throat> so... Snag Shout, you go create an account. I've talked about it in one of my previous, um, like, vlogs, but you go, you create an account, and then you, like, look through, and they have a couple, like, two pages of baby things and that type of thing. You go through, find what you want, and you hit snag it, and then you go to Amazon, like, it says view on Amazon, It'll take you right to it, and then you can put that, like, you end, blah, blah, blah. you add it to your cart, <clears throat> go to checkout, and you enter in the code that you copied when you hit snag it, and um, then you're good to go. You pay for it, and it's on its way, and it's a pretty steep discount. Like, you can get stuff at, I think, like, at most, most of them are 50% off, if not more, so... Um, oh my god. Um, so yeah, it's a really awesome site. Those were $6.99 on Snag Shout, and we paid 90 cents for two. Um, Tim got these, like, really freaking strong magnets. Holy cow, they're itty-bitty. There's two, four, six, eight, ten here. The one broke, but they are freaking itty-bitty. And he stuck them to the fridge and I couldn't get them off but it's all like fucked up but alright I'm gonna grab my food and then I will see you guys in the bedroom so I'm sitting back down in the bedroom I've got my food right there um, I'm gonna be getting on YouTube watching some YouTube videos but look what came today I'm so excited um, I ordered this Sunday night, I think. It is an 18 uh, count, like, color. And these are all the colors that you get. And you actually get, if you guys can see, you get two of the turquoise. You get two yellow, um, two red, and two of the fuchsia. Um, but it does up to 36 projects. It's the Tulip One Step Tie Dye Kit. Um, it has 122 pieces all together. So I'm going to flip it. This freaking tab thing keeps opening, but you get the project ideas it just that shows you different ways different techniques and that type of stuff like how to do the I'm um, sorry about my nails but how to do the spiral how to do like this how to do a like a heart or a smiley face or whatever ombre bullseye that type of thing but you get six pairs of gloves you get the 18 bottles of the color and all you have to do to that is add the water and shake it up. You get 90 rubber bands and you also get a 72 by 36 inch plastic table cover. This way you aren't, um, you're not messing up your kitchen table or whatever. But I got that because I want to, want to start tie dyeing again and that was only... I think $13 and then it came to 14 something because of the tax um, but yeah so I'm just gonna watch some YouTube videos and then I am going to have to do laundry when I'm done um, eating I have two loads to fold I have one to wash dry and fold but yeah I'm looking real fancy right now I got my little headlight on Every time I put this on, I look at Tim and be, I always sing like, 
I've been working on the railroad. I don't know why, but I do. Um, I'm going to take you back and show you what we've done with the other room. Oh my god, I'm so excited. So, oh, I'm going to turn you guys around. It's a mess out here. Okay. Um, so yeah, we've got all of this stuff here that we need to get rid of. But, you guys, we have a door. We have a door now. So, if you guys watched previous vlogs and everything, these pieces of wood here used to go all the way over to, like, I actually think here. Um, so, yeah, last night... Tim got a circular saw from our landlord, and he cut these down to size, and these actually overlapped, so they are not any longer overlapping. I'm so excited. Um, then we're talking about putting, like, a fake wall, or, like, not really a fake wall. It's going to be a real wall, uh, just like a temporary wall, I guess, uh, where these curtains are. So you won't have, like, you won't go this way to get into the sunroom. You will go into this bedroom and in because if you guys haven't noticed, let me turn my light on without blinding you guys here. So I don't know if you guys can see, but the sunroom obviously starts right here at the sliding glass door. But if you come around, go through our door, we actually have a door. Um, there's actually a sliding glass door there too it leads out to the same spot so it's actually kind of cold in here and we don't have a light bulb in here right now but that's okay that is a box of wedding stuff that I'm going to try to sell so that's why that's there um, there's some cups in this box here that I want to get rid of um, this stuff we're all putting into our storage over town I love, love, love these curtains. And Tim says if we have a girl, then we can put these up in her room. And I'm so excited, so happy. Uh, we have some extra paneling that we need to put away or whatever. But we didn't put it away because we're going to finish up this wall probably tonight. Um, the tiki torches are going to go... Down in the basement, along with the torch fuel, this is going to go back out into the sunroom, this chair. Um, it was just back here so I could sit back here with Tim while he was working. The aquariums, focus camera. So these aquariums over here, sorry about my phone. Those aquariums are going to go over town. Um, these boxes are pretty much all going to be burnt. Except for the printer box and I think these two ninja boxes. Um, I think we're going to put this in storage. Like a lot of this stuff and then like this stuff back here is all of Tim's electronical things. Like right here where the light is. Those are all of Tim's electronical things. So I don't know if he's going to keep those or what. And then this here we're going to store away right now because... Um, I'm going to set this window. Hang on. Go down. Okay. But in case we have a guest over or something that stays, um, we have an extra mattress that we can throw down on the floor in the baby's room or whatever. And they've got pillows and blankets in there. And then obviously this stuff like this green tote, this red tote, the blue tote, the diapers obviously, the playpen or the play mat. This box, the wipes, and this box here, and this big box, and the box that's behind it, um, they all, they all have baby stuff in them, so we're going to be putting those, obviously, like, they're probably going to be moved out there for now, um, like, once this room is completely ready for us to move into, um, it's gonna go out there while we move everything of ours from the other bedroom into here. And then obviously all of this stuff, once it's out there and our stuff is in here, that stuff that, ooh, that's out there is gonna go into the other room. And the other room is gonna be the baby's room. <sighs> <sighs> um, 
Then this stuff here, like we've got my winter boots, you know, uh, we put those there because I obviously I put them away when it's summertime because you don't need them. But wintertime, obviously you need them. At least around here in PA. And then this bag here um, actually has an afghan that my mom made for me. And so does this bag down below it. Um, she used to crochet. And the one down below it is more special because she made it. Like, it was going to be my Christmas present, but she passed away before she could finish it. So we gave it to my... Um, my cousin and she finished it, but she put a heart where my mom stopped working on it So we're gonna go out into The sunroom real quick. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm so excited. We're getting a bedroom um, Not that we didn't already have one, you know, but <clears throat> And then this stuff here is pretty much all gonna stay here and definitely that tote Right there because it has all kinds of pig stuff in it this has curtains in it, um, and I wanted to keep the bag too. It's dirty, it needs washed, but um, for now we're gonna put the curtains up. We're gonna get a curtain rod. We're gonna put curtains up here, um, on, obviously on the other side to keep the sunlight out while we are still asleep. This box here is, can you guys see that? Yeah. This box is a box of my mom's stuff that she gave, or that my dad gave me when she passed away. Um, a photo album of all of her pictures and that type of thing. That has a ceramic pig from Things Remembered. It has my name and I think 2012 engraved on it. It was the year that I got it for Christmas. So they had that. My two piggy pillow pets, obviously anything pig related was staying here. This is something... My dad got for my, or my mom got for my dad, but my dad wanted me to wash them. So I'm keeping them here so I can give them back to him. And then we've got all of my graduation stuff from high school. So it's got like my cap and my gown. Um, so my gown and stuff is all in this bag here. Uh, maybe I'll do a video of what all I kept, but... This is United Way certificate that I got, like all kinds of stuff in here. Um, I think I am going to do a separate video on everything that I've like kept from my uh, from my senior year. Um, there's my diploma, but yeah, so that's just like valuable stuff that I didn't want stored over town or anything because I don't want it to get like all messed up and whatnot um because oh, it we call it our storage but it's our landlord owns it he hoards everything um so he told us we could store stuff over there um but yeah the curtain rod will be put up right here and then the curtains would be there so yeah, we're, we are finally getting things done, and I couldn't be more excited. Like, we actually have three doors now to show that we have three rooms. I'm so excited. Um, so, yeah, we're getting things done for when baby gets here. As soon as I turn my camera on, I get a notification on my phone. But... Going into the third bedroom. Uh, not the third bedroom, but the third room. Where's the light switch? There it is. We actually put a light bulb in here last night. It's the one from our... Um, crap. A closet in the bedroom. Um, but we got this wall covered up last night and then we got this cut because this here it used to overlap so we wanted to cut it because right on the other side is a big old hole like leading into the basement so what we plan to do is put in some two by fours because there's obviously like it's just like a giant open space so we're gonna put in the two by fours and then put up some insulation and put like a sheet of that lay-on stuff, I think that's what it's called. 
uh, put that up to uh, hold the insulation up, and I think we're going to get, or it's Luon, right? Luon, not Leon, Luon. Uh, we're going to get some Luon to put here on these walls as well, just to cover that insulation up. We were just going to leave it open, but we decided not to. Um, so if you guys can see, everything is cluttered over here. Today, because we were over this way, um, there's some boxes over there that we are keeping, but I burned a lot of them last night. All of this stuff, except for the tote there, still needs to go over to the warehouse. Um, but, yeah, my hands, like my arms, are so sore because I'm not used to doing, like, a lot of work. And I don't really do a lot of work, but I was doing some hammering last night. And let me tell you what, I'm feeling it. Like, I, <laughs> I had to put a nail in, like this nail right here. I had to put that in there, and it literally took me like half an hour just to get that one nail in there. Because it kept like bouncing, because there's no support here, so it kept bouncing. It was just all around bad. Um, there is one more box that we knew, do need to burn, but yeah, we're getting there. It's getting something, something's getting done. Um, and then for the floor, obviously we still need to sweep and pull out some staples that are in the ground that was like holding the carpet on. And that's the type of stuff when Tim's mom used to live in this house. Um, but, yeah, we're, we're getting things done. And um, we're going to look for some, like this, it's like foamy floor. I don't even know what the heck it is. But it's like puzzle pieces uh, for like a kid's room. But Tim said he saw this like black industrial type stuff that uh, will will work and it was really cheap so we're probably going to put that down on the floor and then we need to get a TV stand another dresser and um, a nightstand and preferably a bed, bed frame because I would love to have a bed frame but yeah that's all we really need to get um, the TV stand, the nightstand, and the bed frame obviously would be for our room. And then the dresser would be for baby's room. Because honestly, there's not a lot of cupboard space. And Tim had mentioned about like this cabinet thing that's in our closet area now. We were going to put it uh, in our other room. But he thinks he wants to leave it in here. So that wouldn't be available. And... The dresser here is what all of my clothes are in, except for this top drawer. Tim's clothes are in the bathroom, so, yeah. 